What up all my fight fans? We had ourselves one hell of a fight this past Saturday. I'm talking about Francis Ngannou taking on Tyson Fury. Guys, what did I talk about? What did I say? Francis Ngannou is someone that's going to come, that someone is ready, that someone is prepared to fight. He came Saturday and you know what? He gave us a show. He showed everybody. He showed the world. He showed all the doubters. The ones that said, did Francis Ngannou drop the bag? Did he fumble the bag? Did Francis Gano make a poor decision? Is Francis Gano just going after a money grab? No, he went after legacy. He went after a championship. He went after everything. He put it all on the line against Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, who is the lineal champion of the world, the heavyweight champion of the world, who is in line to take on Usyk for all the belts to be undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. I'm talking about Tyson Fury, who is also a legend, living legend today. I'm talking about Tyson Fury, who is arguably the greatest heavyweight champion or heavyweight boxer of all time. Francis Ngannou was able to go to the distance with that man. And he did not just hang in there. He did not just, you know, pretty much grapple and be able to hold him down. No, he was able to drop Tyson Fury in the third round. I've seen rounds where he had Tyson Fury in trouble. I've seen Tyson Fury's face looked very very concerned and confused on what to do with someone like Francis. Francis Ngannou did not go in there to just get money. Francis Ngannou did not go in there to just shut everybody up and say hey I'm just doing this for publicity or star power. No he went in there against all odds and literally showed everybody that I am not doing this just for money. I'm not doing this just for star power. I'm doing this for legacy. I'm doing it to show that I am the baddest man on the planet. <coughs> that's what he's doing it for. And that's what he did do. Now, yes, granted he did lose the decision. But he still won. Francis Ngannou still won. Francis Ngannou is still a really, really tough SOB. 100%. There was that argument of who is the baddest man on the planet, John Jones, Tyson Fury, or Francis Ngannou. My argument still stands. It was prior to the fight, and it still is after the fight. The toughest man in this world is Francis Ngannou. John Jones would not step in the ring with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury would not step in the cage with John Jones. And Francis Ngannou is willing to do both cage and ring with both these men, and he already did. Not John Jones yet. You never know what could happen down the line. But he already did with Tyson Fury. He went the distance. He was able to drop the Gypsy King. Now, I know a lot of people might say regarding Tyson Fury. I know a lot of people are going to say like, oh, maybe he didn't take it serious. Or, you know, he just, he pretty much wanted to do a show like Floyd Mayweather did with Conor. Like, let the fight go the distance. Maybe put money on stuff. It don't matter. That's all hearsay. That's all um, basically specul people speculating. None of those are facts. What the fact is, he got dropped by Francis Ngannou. What the fact is, he went the distance with Tyson Fury. He went the full 10 rounds. Quite possibly could have went 12. And a lot of people, in a lot of people's eyes, he should have won the fight. There was MMA people out there talking about how this was a joke. There was MMA journalists out there that was talking about this is just... They couldn't believe that they had to buy this fight. There was a lot of people that doubted Francis Ngannou. Saying he had zero to no chance against Tyson Fury. I argued over and over again saying that, Tyson, that Francis Ngannou has power in his hands. That is very scary. That you definitely, definitely do not want to take. Take for granted or you do not want to overestimate. Or underestimate I should say. Because it is very scary on what. Francis Ngannou can do with that power. So with that being said, he was able to utilize some of that power. He was able to back up Tyson Fury a little bit. Tyson Fury did what he does best. Great footwork, great head movement, using his jab, using a few power shots. He was able to back up Francis Ngannou a little bit here and there. And he did score the decision, I feel. He did throw a little bit more shots. You know, uh, Tyson Fury is well known for that. He's not necessarily a super big power puncher, but he does lot, like to let his hands go. And accumulate some points. <clears throat> and with that being said, he does deserve the right to get the decision. But in some people's eyes, 
with that knockdown, Francis Gano perhaps may have edged that decision out just a little bit because he was backing up Tyson Fury. He was landing some really clear, good power shots on Tyson Fury. So this could very well be a trilogy fight. I could see this potentially being down the line. We already know what's next for Francis Gano. He's going to the PFL. He signed a contract. He's going to fight with them sometime in February or March. And Tyson Fury is going to take on for all the belts in um, in the heavyweight division. Um, Alexander Usyk. Undisputed championship on the line. We're not sure, quite sure when it's going to be. They say it might be December 23rd. But I feel like it might get pushed back just due to the 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 little bit of a back and forth war he had with Francis Ngannou. That it's going to get pushed back to January. I feel like that's what it should be. What's the rush? Uh, you know, uh, the fight's going to be there. It's always going to be there. You got undefeated versus undefeated. Why not? Let's wait. Let's not rush things. But I do feel like these guys will meet again. I do feel like these guys will, are not done with each other. And I'll be happy, happy to see this again. Happy to pay for it again. Very happy to see it. Because it was very much worth it. It was worth the wait. I'm sure it was one big blockbuster um, of a show. Uh, overall, I mean, the show overall was a little bit slow. A lot, a lot of um, lacklustering fights. A lot of fights that not a lot of people cared about. But at the end of the day, the main event, the biggest show that people were hoping to see and waiting to see, did turn out to be one hell of a good one. You know, I mean, we've seen a lot of MMA versus boxers take on each other. And I don't feel like any of them can match up with this one. This one was a very, very, very much um, exciting. And definitely, definitely no one saw coming. Or a lot of people didn't see coming. I personally felt like Tyson Fury um, could be in somewhat some kind of danger with Francis Gano and his power. I didn't know Francis Gano was going to be able to box like the way he was able to box against Tyson Fury. So whatever excuses anybody wants to say regarding Tyson Fury, how he maybe wasn't really prepared, how he um, took him lightly, doesn't matter. The facts are the facts. He got dropped and he got a split decision over Francis Gano. In his boxing, pro boxing debut. So guys, um, let me know what you think about the fight. Let me know what you thought about the outcome. Let me know what you think is going to be next for Francis Ngannou. Who is he going to fight in PFL? And let me know what you think about Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. When do you think that fight is going to take place? December? January? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.